Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be talking about Baywatch. Now, I think we all know about Baywatch, especially if you're a guy. Now, there isn't really much to say about the show. I mean, they save lives to people who are drowning, people who are in real trouble out there, you know, getting swept away by tides and such. But they also did a lot more than that. They also fought crime on the beaches, of course. They even covered some issues like uh, our main character, Mitch, played by David Hasselhoff, who was a single dad and his son was growing up. And of course, you know, they covered stuff like that, you know, when you got a teenage boy, when you're a single dad, that sort of thing. And I know it seems kind of weird to try and incorporate all that into this show, but it worked. Now, since that's the story alone, I'm just going to leave it at that and just focus on what made the show so awesome. The stories are actually very well done. I know people might not think otherwise these days, but they actually are. I mean, they're very solid, and of course there's quite a few moments of adventure going around like when they're dealing with pirates that are offshore. But of course, we all know what drew the people in. All those babes in bikinis, especially the female lifeguards themselves. Most notably, Pamela Anderson, Carmen Electra, and Erica Elenka, just to name a few. And these girls became legendary because, well, you know why. But beside of their obvious hotness, they really did play their roles really well. Yes, the girls were the main focus of the show. And back in the day, all the guys, myself included, were stuck glued to our TV screens, drooling. Here's something you may find surprising about the show. Believe it or not, after the first season, it was actually canceled. And in 1990, all the way through 91, there was no Baywatch. But the producers still felt that it had potential, so they brought it back. Roughly in about 1999, they changed it up to Baywatch Hawaii, where we get a whole new cast, a whole new location. And it was a good show. The only problem was it was played later on at night. The show ended in 2001. One of the reasons why it ended is because the production cost was starting to go up, mostly because they were actually filming this, on location. In fact, that's the reason why they went from LA to Hawaii in the first place. And another reason is the show kind of got a little stale after all these years. And that does make sense. I mean, considering how simple the show was and the real main attraction was all the hot babes in the bikinis, mostly the lifeguards, of course, there was only so much you could do with it. And in fact, I'm quite amazed that it lasted as long as it did. And that's pretty much all there is to say about Baywatch. Now before I go, I'm going to answer a question before it's even asked. I know everyone's going to ask me, what about the movie? Are you going to cover that? Well, frankly, no, I'm not going to cover it. Why? It's quite simple. I don't really have any high hopes for it. It does have the one thing that's essential to the show, the hot babes in bikinis, but the storyline seems more like a dumb slapstick comedy than anything else. And that's not Baywatch, so don't even bother asking me to cover it. This is Movie Fan, signing off.